Hello, everybody. Dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and of course, the world's top broadcaster, saying hi to every single one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say this is just a random pop up, just to see how everybody's getting on. Of course, we did a lot of live streaming during the lockdown, and you could get me on for a couple of hours most nights. In the morning, a couple of hours, most mornings, of course, and a lot of serious chit-chat going on. Fantastic. And a lot of discussion and a lot of fun and a lot of laughter. So I thought I'll pop up and see what's happening in the nation and say hi to everybody. So here we are, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Thank you very much to everyone for joining us on the YouTube site, of course, www youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one S C O T T I E M C C L U E one and of course Instagram Scotty McClue one follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue follow me on Twitch Scotty underscore McClue on Twitch. So feel free to do all these wonderful things. And uh, follow me on Facebook, of course, scotty.mcclue.9. That's one of them. And there's also many, many others on Facebook. So look up Scotty McClue on Facebook and come and join us there as well. You'll also get me on Reddit, Scotty underscore McClue. So there we are. And another reason for the pop-up, as you know, I'm a great one for having a wee browse through social media. And I've just been having a wee browse through social media, and I noticed that there are just a handful, really, of asylum seekers coming in on dinghies, not supposedly legally, apparently, coming in on little tiny, tiny rubber dinghies, having crossed the English Channel to get away from whatever war-torn country they have originated from. And uh, there's a great stushy about this. And, of course, being social media, there's a lot of people who aren't too chuffed about it. In fact, I would go so far as to say they're dischuffed about it. Very dischuffed about it. And, of course, being social media, some of them are very vocal, if you like. Uh, you know, they might be non-verbal, but they are keyboard warriors. And they are saying some pretty um, horrible and unpleasant things about our fellow human beings who have probably suffered more in a day of their life than most of the keyboard warriors will have suffered in a lifetime. They've risen to all these challenges, and as a last-ditch attempt to get some quality of life, they've risked their lives and, uh, you know, got themselves involved in all sorts of strange behavior to get themselves across the English Channel in a rubber dinghy. I don't know if you've ever, uh, you know, sailed across the English Channel. I, of course, have come across by ferry, by hovercraft, by all these things. Um, but a little rubber dinghy, if it's not like a mill pond, which it very rarely is, will be very, very frightening for young people and uh, their families and their children, or even young men on their own, perhaps with very, very little marine experience. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are being so unpleasant, and they're saying things like, um, you know, obviously they want them, uh, uh, you know, immediately returned, blah, 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 but they would do this, that, and the next thing, because they're coming to our shows now. They seem to be forgetting something. Every single one of us is an immigrant. And uh, the other interesting thing is that we all originated in the African Rift Valley. Many of us came via Ireland or via the Middle East from Africa and from India and uh, all that sort of thing. So there we are. And of course, many of us have emigrated and become immigrants in other places, Australia and New Zealand and Canada 
and America and uh, all over the world, South America, whatever. But we've emigrated and become immigrants and we've been part of it. And we didn't have to cross a waterway, a very busy, busy shipping lane like the English Channel in a tiny, tiny rubber boat to get that freedom. So they are about one of our children got sent away during the war and in the 50s and in the 60s and, um, you know, maybe £10 or something like that to start a new life in Australia or Canada or America. And if you go back to the 1850s and 60s, uh, the 1840s, 50s and 60s, when people came over from Ireland because of the famine and were welcomed in places like Scotland, and a lot of them had to go to Canada and America and Australia and New Zealand. And then in the 1860s, of course, the Highland clearances, when the Scots were sent, they were just put on board a boat, marched down to the quay and sent to Canada or to America or to Australia or to New Zealand. So there's been lots of emigration and immigration over the years. And then, of course, what we seem to forget is that um, everybody who has lived in their country um, has virtually come from another country. So whether it was the, the Romans from Italy or the Anglo-Saxons from Germany, the Normans from France, the Vikings from Norway, you know, need I go on. On and on it goes. The world is a great melting pot, and we're so much the better for that culture, for the people who have brought inventions, and for the people who have brought conventions, and for the people who have brought so many things to our what has now become indigenous culture. So there was, so we're very much a multicultural world, which is uh, which is wonderful. And these, of course, are our brothers and sisters. And uh, xenophobia is, of course, a terrible thing. There cannot actually be racism if you only have one race, the human race, and we're all members of that. Uh, hopefully. Even, uh, you know, if we know some well-behaved outsiders. So there's that side of it as well. And, um, you know, you, you, you can't have, I mean, religion doesn't cause any problems in our society whatsoever. What causes the problem, of course, is a lack of knowledge and understanding. So that's what we're needing to increase as human beings, knowledge and understanding of the ways of others, and perhaps also, more importantly, of the ways of ourselves, how we're thinking and how we're acting and how we're treating our fellow human beings, how we're treating people in the animal kingdom as well, all that sort of stuff. And of course, you never, ever know how far the influence of a human being goes. I'm thinking of one asylum seeker in particular, one immigrant who came across the sea, probably even a wilder sea than the English Channel. And he came across in a boat even smaller and less reliable and less buoyant than the rubber dinghies. He came across in a coracle made out of an animal skin stretched over a frame of willow twigs. Yes, he would have been terribly ill and terribly sick. And then he was finally flung up on a little Scottish island. Tiny, beautiful little Scottish island. And... Uh, the year was 563. His name was Columba. You might know him better as Saint Columba. So 563 years after Jesus Christ was born, Columba ended up as an asylum seeker, as an immigrant flung up on the sands, the beautiful sands of this tiny little island off the west coast of Scotland, and his influence dwells among us like Jesus Christ in his risen power. Columbus' influence dwells among us because that immigrant in his tiny little boat brought us 
Christianity. How very interesting. So there you are. So that's just a thought. Anyway, we'll do some more live streams as soon as I can uh, get things together, sort out things to uh, coincide with the day job, and we'll get more live streams going. And if you can all subscribe, if you can send this round the world, if you can tell 10 to tell 10, and let them know about Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, where there's over 1,000 videos for your information, education, edification, enjoyment, and delight. From me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you, dinky-doo.